Greetings CBC and welcome to this week's Sunday warm-up. This week the text before us is Romans chapter 4 verses 9 to 25. Romans 4, 9 to 25. We're going to split it up into three sections. Let me give you what those sections are going to be and then some further scriptures and thoughts of some prep work we could do in particularly in the first section. So section one or bullet point one, faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. Romans 4, 9 to 17. The second bullet point or second point we're going to look up as we as we kind of outline, split up this text a little bit to, to be able to handle it together on Sunday, will be uh, Romans 4, 18 to 21, looking at how uh, we are fully convinced, or Abraham, I guess at first, fully convinced of the promises of God, fully convinced of the promise of God. Uh, I'm not going to come back to this one, but uh, what I did was just bullet point number one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four different things uh, that that show us or the phrasing of how he was fully convinced. Take a look, see if you can find those as well. And I think the key of everything, in fact, I'm going to circle it right now. The key within maybe even the whole chapter is chapter four, verse 20. Take a look at what, what that says there. And then our third point will be righteousness is counted to us who believe in Christ Jesus from Romans 4, 22 to 25. All right, back to that first point. Uh, I do have a handful of uh, aside scriptures to go along with that and some ideas of maybe some prep work for it. So faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. There's a major theme within the first 17 verses. So certainly go back and read the eight verses that we finished off with last week in chapter four. See if you can find and count how many different times, ways it is said to us that faith was counted as righteousness. There's quite a few just in chapter four. Uh, write those down, uh, see if you can find all of them. A couple times the phrasing is just a little bit different, but it's implying the same thing, that faith was counted as righteousness. And how was it counted as righteousness, the text will ask us. Was it was it before he was circumcised? Was it after he was circumcised? So I'll give you a little assignment, a little legwork to do on this one as well. Go back to Genesis chapter 15 to 17, Genesis 15, 16, and 17, and take a look at how it was described to us of uh, God's covenant and promise with Abraham, Abraham's faith, and when circumcision uh, came in into play. We're, we're told within Genesis or uh, Romans 4 about the sign of circumcision is a seal of righteousness. So alongside that, take a look at three, three individual verses. Galatians 5 verse 6, Galatians 6 verse 15, and Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. Also within that first point about faith being counted to Abraham as righteousness, we're told that the purpose of this was to make him the father of all. So take a look at Galatians 3, 28 to 30. And then I love how this section ends in Romans chapter 4, verse 17. And pay, pay uh, particular, particular attention to how God is described there in Romans chapter 4, verse 17. And when we think, somebody might ask, like, who is God? Is God that you believe in? Who, who is he? Uh, Romans 4, 17 would be a, a wonderful place to even start and to say, this is who our God uh, is. All right, that's what we're looking at this week and picking up right where we left off next week. So we'll finish up Romans 4 this week and then we'll head into uh, Romans 5. We'll actually finish Romans 5 uh, in the next two weeks after this one on Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. So mo moving slowly along and, and I hope together we are taking time to really um, spend slow amounts of time looking at the text before us, looking at some of the side references, being prayerful about it and certainly coming prayerful on Sunday morning. Prayers for you this week. Looking forward to being with you uh, this Sunday morning. God bless you.